everyone, and welcome to our Little Sprout story time here at Clark County Public Library. This is our preschool story time um, for about ages three to five, and I'm your host, Miss Alyssa. Um, okay, so I know you have your family, I know you have your friends, but there's one other kind of companion that you may have, and that's your pets. So today we're going to be reading about pets. Um, and these books are being read with permission from Simon & Schuster Publishing. All right, so our first one takes us back to the old ages called Me Want Pet. Words by Tammy Sauer and Bob's and pictures by Bob Shea. Published by Simon & Schuster. Me Want Pet. By Tammy Sauer. Cave Boy had lots of things. Rocks, sticks, a club, but no pet. Me sad, said Cave Boy, want pet. Cave Boy went to find one. He searched near and far until oh, that a woolly mammoth cave boy rode woolly home me want pet ugh grunted mama he too big where he sleep cave boy gave woolly a hug me wish you could stay pal look pretty sad don't they then cave boy tried again he searched high and low until oh, what's that a saber-toothed tiger cave boy and toothy raced home me one pet a sugar sneezed papa Make me sneeze. No can stay. Cave Boy and Toothy sighed. Me sorry, buddy. Oh. But Cave Boy did not give up. He searched across grasslands, overseas, and through forests. Ooga! A baby dodo bird. Poor baby, said Cape Boy. No mama anywhere. <laughs> no too big, no sneeze, me want pet. Ugh, grunted Graham. No can keep, he no potty train. Cape Boy groaned and turned to dodo. Me so sad. Just then, the ground shook. <gasps> Stampede! yelled Mama. What we do? Called Gra Papa. We take cover, hollered Graham. Gaga! <gasps> Dodo! Boy to the rescue! <gasps> With a little help from his friends. Fuga! cheered the family. Cave Boy had lots of things rocks, sticks, a club. But Cave Boy did not have one pet. Even after all that? Cave Boy had three. Ooga! The end. Has that ever happened to you where you just want a pet and no one lets you have one? Maybe someday if you find just the right one. This one, on the other hand, is a bit more about all the kinds of pets you can have. This is Strictly No Elephant. Written by Lisa Mancha 
and illustrated by Taoying Yu and published by Simon & Schuster. Strictly No Elephants by Lisa Mancha. The trouble with having a tiny elephant for a pet is that you never quite fit in. Can you usually have an elephant for a pet? Not where I live. No one else has an elephant. Yeah, because we've got birds, we've got cats, we've got fish, we've got dogs, but no elephants. Every day, I take my elephant for a walk. He is a very thoughtful sort of walk. Oh. He doesn't like the cracks in the sidewalk much. I always go back and help him over. That's what friends do. Lift each other over the cracks. Today, I'm walking my tiny elephant to number 17. It's pet club day, and everyone will be there. Do you think I'm all dressed up? Come along, there's a good boy. I coax him the last few feet. He'll be fine. When I look up, there's a sign on the door. Strictly no elephants. <sighs> My tiny elephant leads me back to the sidewalk, never minding the cracks. That's what friends do, brave the scary things for you. Is that very nice? Saying that they can't be part of the club. Did you try to go to the pet club meeting too? The girl asks. Yes, I say, but they don't allow elephants. The sign didn't mention skunks, the girl says, but they don't want us to play with them either. They don't know any better, I tell her. He doesn't stink, the girl adds. No, he doesn't, I agree. What if we start our own club? Come alone, I say, making certain that my tiny elephant follows me. Because that's what friends do. Never leave anyone behind. Ooh, look at all the unusual pets. Um, let's see, we've got the elephant, the skunk, porcupine, a narwhal, penguin, giraffe, armadillo, <laughs> bat on a leash. Can you usually have these guys as pets? Maybe not, but they're still pretty cool animals. We can play here, one of our new friends says. All of us. So, we paint our own sign. All are welcome. My tiny elephant will give you directions if you need them. Because that's what friends do. Me and. All right, for our song today, I've got a bit of fun. This is called the Bean Song. Uh, and I'm gonna do an example with um, uh, with um, Coco. So let's say you wanna use Coco. The song goes like this. My dog Coco likes to roam. One day Coco left her home. She came back quite unclean. Where, oh, where has Coco been? Coco bean, Coco bean, where oh where has Coco bean? Pretty much any kind of
the bean you can think of, you can do the song about that. So let's say jumping. My dog jumping likes to roam. One day jumping left his home. He came back quite unclean. Where oh where has jumping been? Jumping bean, jumping bean, where oh where has jumping been? Okay, hmm, what else? Oh, green. My dog green likes to roam. One day green left his home. He came back quite unclean. Where oh where has green been? Green bean, green bean, where oh where has green been? All right, one more. We're gonna do vanilla. My dog vanilla left her home. My dog vanilla likes to roam. Oops, let me start again. My dog vanilla likes to roam. My dog vanilla left her home. She came back quite unclean. Where oh where has vanilla been? Vanilla bean, vanilla bean, where oh where has vanilla been? Yay! All right. Be sure to do that with your friends, maybe your pet or your grown person. And speaking of pets, um, maybe you live somewhere where you're not allowed pets or you just don't have the mic one. Here's how to make a pet that pretty much everyone can afford. May I introduce you to this week's craft, a pet rock. I know it doesn't look like much. I made this a long time ago. Pretty sure this guy had eyes at some point. Um, but basically, find a nice rock. Um, maybe while you're just walking along and you find a nice rock, just find one. Um, and then you can dress it up um, however you want. Like I wrap this up in cloth. You can put some mini cloths for like the feet and the tail. Um, you can use strings, put on eyes, maybe make it a bit glittery, bedazzle a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, Whatever it is, and then you just need to give a name. This is Priscilla. Um, and so then you have your very own pet rock. All right, so go out and do that, and I'll see you next week. Have a good time. Thanks for coming. Bye.